We are live here in Westlake, Ohio, as the Avon Eagles have traveled in to take on the Lady Demons of Westlake. I am Vince McKee alongside Ruben Rodriguez, and you are listening to Kia Sports Media Group Game of the Week. Again, this is a big one, Ruben, and we're going to bring it here in a second. As Westlake, today is going to be very interesting. Will they have jet lag? They spent most of the week in Florida last week at a fly home. Gina Adams battling an injury with the stitches. They got a lot going on, but still they're one of the top teams in the state. Ruben, my man, Rodriguez, how do you see this one playing out today? Well, it's the first game of the year. Um, fortunately, and hello folks out there. Unfortunately for Westlake, they did play a little bit during the holidays. They went to that Tampa tournament, as Vince mentioned. They lost a couple of tough ones, uh, but uh, as I spoke to Coach Han before the game, she had mentioned that the competition there is a couple of steps higher than what they play here. So she said the team is ready. They learn from losses more than you do from wins. Um, on the Avon side, this is the first game of 2020, uh, but they're prepared, Vince. We know the coaching staff. We, we saw the players, some of these players last year. It's going to be your typical SWC battle. Uh, both teams come in at 7-3 and three overall. Um, Westlake has 6-1 in the conference. But you can tell by the noise in here, there's people here, they can do, this is going to be an awesome game today. No doubt about it. And guys, our two, 2020 season got off last night. Rocky River hosted Elyria. We want to thank Mike Rogers and Dave Wallencheck for subbing in on that one. And as you know, girls basketball always brought to you by myself, Vince McKee, and Ruben Rodriguez. We absolutely love it. And what we love also is treating our sponsors well. 2020 is off to a ripping, roaring start. We are only four days into the year, guys. Four days into the year, and we already have nine sponsors. Awesomeness. We want to thank them right now. First up, Kobo's Insurance, and we're going to tell you about all of them throughout the game. But Kobo's Insurance has been serving the Cleveland area for over 50 years. They're independent agents, so they have lots of companies to find customers the best rate. They specialize in car, home, life, and business insurance. And they're family run to have two locations in Elyria and Avon Lake. Check them out today, Kobo's Insurance. Also, Rocket Fizz Candy. If you like my man Ruben here, you have a sweet tooth. And Rocket Fizz has you covered. With everything from your childhood to today, they didn't miss a beat. Putting together this magnificent display of candy and soda paradise, you can visit them at 530 Euclid Avenue, Suite 22B in Ohio, as you know. And we're going to tell you about all of them in a little bit as we get ready for tonight's contest. One more quick one here, Frankie's Italian Cuisine. If you're looking for a place to enjoy a post-game meal, love Italian food, Frankie's Italian Cuisine has you covered from meatball to lasagna. Visit them today at 4641 Great Northern Boulevard in North Olmstead. We'll be right back. And we are set for tip ball. Vince McKee alongside Rubano Rodriguez, the man my wife calls Roman, but his birth name is actual Ruben. And here we go. Tip off brought to you by all of our sponsors. And it might go out of bounds. Nope, Avon's gonna chase it down. Avon going from right to left. Black tops, black trunks, purple trim, and Westlake starts off left to right. White tops, white trunks, green letters. Head coach Karen Swanson Hahn and Tom Withers. Here we go. Yeah, Vince, uh, first possession, a little bit too much what? A little bit too much sauce uh, on that meatball. Absolutely, a lot of oompa pa. A quick turnover. It begins with Westlake going outside. Carrington, three ball off the front of the rim. Gina Adams will chase it down. Gina Adams, the point guard who plays like a center, small forward, power forward, and shooting guard. She does it all, Ruben. It looks like Westlake to have to do a little bit of onside adjustments here, Vince. The Avon team come out starting five guards, so a little bit of quickness. Yep. Up and Adams, Gina Adams. No good, but she will now go to the line. That is senior guard. Gina Adams playing with some stitches as she got a little banged up in their trip to Florida over the weekend. And she got a little uh, goober over her eyes, scored some stitches as she was going after a ball to save a possession. First shot up, good form there, and it is good. Gina has to uh, slow let the game come to her. She's not rushing anything anymore. And Summer Salem again in the lineup tonight, number 13, sporting a knee brace. Here's Gene Adams again. It is good. Two very good forms on those foul shots. And they go with their press, man. There it is. Can Avon break it? No, they can't. Summer Salem gets the steal. The carries it. She's up. It is off the front of the rim. Rebound by Avon. And you got to get those easy ones, Ruben, off the turnovers. Yeah, that's how she got her position and just missed the layup. Here comes Avon to the lane to the line. That is Alyssa McClellan. And it will battle out of bounds. Yeah, the two big blocks there by Stephanie Randar underneath, Vince. She just... Uh, 
took the challenge and straight up blocked two shots in a row there. And Avon has some height room and Alyssa McClellan, five foot ten, a guard, but she really has some height on her. And down low, number five, also Abby Liber, five foot eleven. And they're going on a two-three zone defense here for Westlake. Down inside the Liber. And Summer Salem with the steal. Back comes Westlake going from left to right, as we said. Gene Adams has it, 2 0 lead for the Demons. Inside of Randar, kicks it back out to Carrington. Three ball off the front of the rim, no good. They're going to call that on Randar, I believe. Go, Ruben. I believe it's on Randar. But that was great ball movement on that last possession. As that ball moved around from one side to the next on passes only. All right, Avon going to break that press this time. Here come the Lady Eagles. Down low, and it might have been tipped by the Demons. That ball, that ball was deflected, and it uh, stays here with Avon. All right, hang tough with us here, folks, as we are covering Avon for the first time this season. 14 has it. That's Torbert. Off three ball by the Eagles. No good. Off the side of the rim. McClellan again. Yeah, it was All a right. quick shot there, Vince. Good yeah. position, though, by Abby Carrington to get the rebound there. Sure was. Here's Summer Salem. Salem between the legs goes to the line. No good. Rebound. Avon, and I like the idea there by Salem, just not enough mm -hmm. uh, height on it. Back comes Avon, full court press, good rebound there by Adams. Nope, kick back away to Avon. Loose ball, three ball, Avon, no good. And that was Torbert again. It looks like the officials are letting a little contact go early in this game, Vince. Yeah, they really are, they're letting them play early. But she might have stepped out of bounds there, she did. Abby Garner stepped on the line. Yeah. Westlake starting out a little slow, Vince, maybe trying to get their legs back. Just three turnovers and four possessions. Westlake calling for that full court press again, but more of a man press. There, good trap to the corner. Excellent trap there by Summer. Salem can't chase it down. There's Adams, as always. She's everywhere, Ruben. Yeah, she's uh, they're physical with that press. They're quick. They get their hands out there. But as I've always said, you got to pass over the top of these presses to break them. Yep. That was a good triangle press there in that corner. Immediate trap by those Lady Demons. Finish. Up into Carrington. It is up. It is good. Uh, Abby Carrington for the Finn Demons. Yeah, Abby Carrington using her height advantage there. Got inside an easy bunny. All right, full court press again. Looks like Avon will break it easy this time, though. A little just quickly. Here come the Eagles off the foot of a... Uh, yep, they're going to say off Katie, the foot of the Demons. Yeah, Katie Witzel coming in. Give a breather to... Uh, White Soul. So Gardner, Abby Gardner comes out. You are correct. Out comes Gardner. Okay, underneath the hoop now will be Ashley Torbert. Torbert will look for the open lady here. Eagles trail 4 0. Witzel in the game now. And the Eagles do get it in up top. Lady Eagles looking for their first points of the contest. Come in with only three losses on the season one to Avon Lake, one to Mags, and one to Olmstead Falls. In regular season conference play, the only loss the Demons have is to the Bulldogs as well. It's a great zone defense there. Stephanie Randar getting in the middle or tapping that ball out. It's another turnover. Here's Gina Adams. Crossover again. Gina drives. She's going to shoot it off the back of the rim. Maybe an ill advised shot there. Here's Carrington. Back up goes Carrington. Look good. Just missed it. Ooh. Not telling you, Ruben. They're really letting them play. Yeah, they are. Abby Library gets, got away with a little push on Adams there trying to get the offensive rebound. Here comes the Eagles up and at them, no good, but a great shot there by Alyssa Peganoff. And now Peganoff will go to the line. Yeah, that's uh, Avon's trying to get the quick shot here before uh, Westlake gets into that 2-3 uh, zone defense. So, you know, it's tough enough to try to get the a ball on these ladies after a made shot with their press. But, man, when they hit that 2-3 zone and everybody's in there doing their thing with their hands in there, Avon's in for it today. Off the back of the rim, no good for Peganoff. And the Eagles will remain scoreless here. 4 nothing early, Westlake leaves it. Wow. Hanging off, a look to get the Eagles on the board, Rubano. Yeah, Brooke Lobb comes in now as a replacement and another guard. They've got five guards out Good. on the court at the same time. Yep. Hanging off, sinks it. Now 4-1, to one. Westlake leaves it with the ball. Gina Adams out to Randar. Adams crosses the line, back to Randar. Has to watch her feet there, Ruben doesn't cross back Almost, over. Almost, yeah. Very close. And first foul really there on the Eagles, Alyssa Peganoff over the back on Randar, called on Peganoff. Checking in the game now is number five, Emma Hall. 
She put some height on her since last year. Yeah, she sure did. Emma Hawk coming in for Summer Salem. Vince looking for a couple of three balls here from Emma yep. early to get her in rhythm. Summer Salem. And Westlake Southern early and often as we've known them to do. All right, Emma Hall has it. Hall up to Gina Adams. Gina Adams crosses over the defense again. Emma Hall playing that three-point perimeter. There's Carrington. Carrington drives to the lane. It is you. Yeah, she just put her head down, Vince, and said, I'm going to the basket. Stop me. Yep. Beautiful play there. Good job there by Emma Hall on the turnover. Back home, the Demons. Gina Adams has it. Spots up a three. No. Drives it in. Gina Adams to the line. No good. Rebound up by Abby Carrington. Carrington has it. It is up. It is off the back of the rim. Six to one. Demons remain in the lead. Yeah, they're fast pacing and they're trying to hold their head down and just get right to the basket. Jump shot. Up. Out. No good. Rebound. What's up? Checking back into the game here. Shorty will be Abby Garner to come back in for the Demons. And we reset it. 6 1 right now. 3.53 to go. Carrington, three ball. In and out. Just barely missed it. A push on Emma Hall. Looks like. Ruben, who's the call on? Looks like it's on. I'd say it was Gina, but it could. Yeah, it's on yep. Gina Adams. Gonna call Gina for that one. Six to one early here. Yeah, it looks like uh, Avon just needs to settle down, Vince. Maybe a timeout or maybe the end of the quarter. They need to settle down. They're rushing everything. They're lucky they're not down more. Yeah. Out comes Carrington for her first rest of the game. And if I know head coach Karen Swanson Hahn, that will be a short rest for Carrington. Again, beautiful trap there by Westlake on the sidelines. Avon does break it this time though, Ruben. Back come the Eagles. Spot up jumper. It looks good. And no, missed another one. It's a good advantage. Yeah, when you break the press too, you get numbers, but you got to put the ball in the basket. Good looking shot there by Grace Santi. Just didn't go in. Eagles fans wanted to travel on Adams. They don't get it. Back inside to go. Emma Hall, three ball. Got it. It's like I said, Vince, you're going to look out for three pointers when Emma the sharpshooter comes out there. Yep. Emma Hall nails another one. Now 9 to 1 Demons. Here come the Eagles. This will only be a two pointer off the back of the rim. No good. Chased down by an Eagle. Avon retains the possession, but they now trail Ruben. 9 to 1. Ruben, we are five minutes into this quarter, and the Eagles only have one point. Yeah, they're 0 for 6 from the field, Vince. They haven't made a shot yet. Yep. There's opportunities there. Just got to settle down. Here come the Eagles. Back at it, looking for some points, and it might be a turnover here. Nope. Good job there by Brooke Lobb to go ahead and maintain possession by Brooke. Brooke swings it out. Back nice inside pass. Avon. It is up. It is good. Nice pass inside. Yep. From Melissa Peganoff to Grace Santee, who pops it in there. Absolutely. Nine to three. And the, I can tell her the Demons are going to have a battle today. It's up. Off the back of the rim. No good. That's our girl there, Cardi Witzel. Checking back into the game now will be Abby Carrington. Yeah, that's a little. Off the back of the rim. No good. And back home, Summer Salem. I don't know about that call, Vince. Both players up, but they call a charge. So they're, they're moving up the floor well after the made basket or missed basket, but they got to put the ball in the basket. Coming back in, Abby Carrington, Summer Salem, and Gigi Redinger coming out. Stephanie Randar, Katie Witzel will take a seat, and Gina Adams. And that's a good staple of head coach Karen Swanson Hahn. You see a lot of this press, but you see a lot of subs to keep these girls fresh all game long. Keep them fresh. They have a, a monster press, and it, takes, oh. it could take a lot out of you. They almost turn it over there, though. Yeah. All right, here we go. A lot of backups in the game right now, but with quality starting. Emma Hall swings it out to Gigi Redinger. Out to Summer Salem, back to Carrington. Carrington has it. Carrington got away with the travel there, Ruben. Are they going to call it? Yeah, they did. They called what, traveling on her. I don't know what happened there. She definitely traveled. So I got to say it's a good call by the refs. That was a definite travel by uh, Carrington there. And Carrington getting all she wants, though. When she puts her head down and dribbles, they can't see that yep. stop. Good still there again by Emma Hall, but then gets it stolen right back. Great positioning by Emma Hall on that still, but then turned it right back over. Here come the Eagles again, looking to cut in the lead. It looks good. No. Rebound off a demon. No. I think we're headed for a jump ball here, guy. Yep, jump ball. That possession arrow stays there with Avon. So Avon, despite only scoring three points in this first quarter, only down by six. Yeah, they're hanging in there because of the missed opportunities from Westlake. They got plenty of layups, shots inside the five to six foot area. They're just not going in. And you got to wonder when Avon head coach will put in Kylie Williams. That shot's up and good. Good inbound pass. Great job there by Grace Santi. And now it's nine to five. And I'll tell you what, Ruben, we're used to the Demons blowing girls out. This might be one hell of a game. Another steal. Another steal. Summer steal is just down. They're running out of time. Ten seconds. Nope. Timeout called by Coach Han there. Good timeout. They would have never got the ball over. 
Ruben, we got a game, bud. Yeah, we got, we got a game. A, we got a good one going here. We kind of expected, you know, Avon, the, the girls, they know a few of them played last year. They're yeah. going to come and bring it. That, that's just the way it is in the SWC. You yeah, forget the records when these two teams get together. No doubt. I mean, we got, you know, Peganoff, Torbert, Ashley Liber. Same. Without Elizabeth Flynn, who graduated, but yeah. Definitely doing well. Gina Adams will be checking back in the game along with Stephanie Randall here in a second. And this next portion of the game is brought to you by Top Tier Performance, another returning sponsor for 2020. Thank you, Chris Walker. Now, he is the top combo athlete trainer, MMA, boxing. Chris Walker does it all. Reach out to him today. CWalker199571 at gmail.com. I mentioned Keon Sports or call Chris at 216 789 7540. All right, we've got Stephanie Randar and Gina Adams set to check back in the game. And referee's not going to allow it, Ruben. This is odd. Yeah, it is, uh, it's just a matter of after a timeout, they got to wait. But Gina and Stephanie got to come in and settle this team down underneath on uh, top. Slow down your pace. Avon playing the five guards and want them to rush a little bit. All right, back on the Demons. Summer Salem swings it back out to Emma Hall. Back to Salem. Back to Hall. Ooh, she had an open look there. Didn't take yeah, it. She didn't take Here it. we go again. Back and forth. Inside to Carrington. To Gigi Redinger. Kicks it back out to Salem. They're taking their time here. In comes Salem. She gets stuffed silly. Back to Carrington, though. Good save. Emma Hall wants that three ball, Rubano. Oh, off the front of the rim. No good. Out of bounds. 49 seconds to go. Your score, Westlake 9, Avon 5. Yeah, Gardner and... Uh, Emma Haas, they got uh, Gina Adams and Stephanie Randar back in, trying to put some sense of, just, you know, they got to calm this thing down. They're rushing their shots. They're passing the ball well, but everything's moving too fast. Back comes Avon, down low. It's up, it's good, and that's our girl. We said earlier, Kylie Williams with the shot early. And Kylie Williams could be a difference maker. Now Avon only down by two. Yep. Right to Williams. All right, Summer Salem, out to Gina Adams. And keep your eye on Kylie Williams of Avon off the bench. Man. Here's Carrington, nails the three. Good perimeter pass in there, Vince. Wide open it, that's Carrington for the three-pointer. She nailed it. Back comes Avon, swings it out. Three ball by the Eagles, it looks good, it is. That was Brooke Wobb nailing the three. Now 12 to 10. Redinger just chucks one up. Ill-advised shot there by Redinger. Yeah, that's a, you got to set that, kick that back out, let your team. And there it is. After the first quarter, it is Westlake 12, Avon 10. Yeah, Vince, it was 9-1 uh, to one after the, the Eagles call a timeout down 9-1. to one. They scored, they now have a 9-2 run to make this a two-point game. But again, uh, Avon's breaking this press of Westlake a little bit too fast for Coach Hans liking here. Yeah. Well, you know what? I mean, Avon's 10 deep. I'm sorry, Westlake's 10 deep. So even when you go to your bench, you expect those goals to still be able to run it. Makes sense. Yeah, it does make a lot of sense. But, you know, like I said, Avon, these teams know each other. They know what's going to happen. Everybody in the area knows that Westlake's got this press. Either it's going to be a full-court press or a half-court trap. Once they beat it, they have numbers. Every time they beat it, you've seen it, Vince. It's a two-on-one or a three-on-two going towards the basket. Avon's issue was early. They couldn't get the ball to go in the basket now. So, yep. Now, this second quarter will be brought to you by Jenny's Popcorn, our favorite Jenny's. We love her. Jenny's Old Fashioned Popcorn is a family-owned tradition that has been serving customers in Northeast Ohio and beyond for 65-plus years. You can find their flavors anywhere popcorn is sold, including Jenny Lamarck's. Visit them online today at jennyspopcorn.com or visit Jenny at 38727 Taylor Parkway in North Ridgeville. All right, Vince, we'll see what kind of quick uh, game adjustments here. Westlake and Avon. Avon's already uh, took, took their punch and came back. We'll see what Westlake does uh, to reverse the tide here. Yep. Summer Salem out to Carrington. Carrington drives lane. It's up. It is good. And I'll tell you, when Abby Carrington hits that lane, just like Abby Amadalanovic last year, she won't miss. Now 14 to 10, Westlake leads it. And that's uh, that's exactly what she's been doing. She's just putting her head down, going to the basket, and here it is. Stop me. I'm going to do it every time. Back comes Westlake with the ball. Gene Adams, top of the key. Adams looking over the defense, swings it out. Summer Salem has it. Salem back down low to Carrington. Carrington has that all day over Kylie Williams. Good job on defense there by Kylie. Again, good job by Kylie Williams on defense, defending every shot. 
Yeah. So get her for a foul here, but she did great. Carrington again going up strong, but she got two quick offensive rebounds and finally got the foul to get to the line. Yep. There's no answer for her so far for Avon. Yep. And I'll tell you there, Kylie Williams doing a phenomenal job off the bench for Avon on defense there, challenging every Carrington shot. It's up, it is no good. And the score remains 14 to 10 for the Lady Demons. They've led the whole wave thus far from a 9-1 lead on. Abby Carrington's been the highest scorer today. Here comes Carrington again. It is up, it is good. And it is 15 to 10, Lady Demons. The press is a little bit softer than what we're used to, Vince. They're breaking it way too easy here. They might be tired. I mean, that was a long trip home. Swings it out. Three ball off the back of the rim for the Eagles. No good. Rebounded by the Eagles. Here we go again. Abby Liber. It's like a travel there. She got away with it. Lob down low to Williams. No good, but great effort there by Kylie. And back come the Demons. They're passing at Avon as a crisper. As the game goes on, they're getting better shots. Here comes Westlake. Demon basketball looking. Swings it out. Gina Adams surveying the defense. And this Wisconsin offense is more of a four girls on the, the perimeter, one in the key. And Vince, it looks to me like too many uh, Westlake Demon uh, players are just standing around waiting three for three-point key. Yeah, they're just well, ha hanging around instead of moving like they were doing early. They're trying that Wisconsin offense four on the perimeter, one in the key. It's not working yet. 15 to 10. And Avon's got some size on them too, Ruben. Yeah. That, that could shut that down. Here's Jean Adams down low. She's got to work hard for this one. Nice Kicks team. it out. Summer Salem back to Adams. Adams has it side of the key. Adams to Carrington. Back to Adams. Adams swings it out to Randar. Down low to Adams. Good movement there, but a turnover. A turnover. I like she the got idea. Her, Williams got her hand on the ball there, but that Westlake looked better moving around without the ball there. Here comes Avon with the ball. Ashley Torbert looking to get it going. Three ball off the side of the rim, and Avon for their side suddenly threw too many three balls. Ooh. But she nails it. Ooh. Ashley Torbert there, Vince. Yep. She got there among the trees and grabbed the rebound, put it right back up. We got a three-point game. Katie Witzel getting ready to chuck back in the game. Here's Summer Salem, a two-ball, nails it. They gave her a three, Vince. She was behind a three-point line. Did you notice? I mean, Westlake's answering every Avon run, though. i got to give them credit yes, for that. They have been. 18-12. to 12. Avon goes down low Ooh. off Randar's oh, fingertips. Safe. Yeah, you're right, Vince. Every time he gets to within two or three points, somebody pops a three or an easy layup. A free throw, something to get that separation again. Back yep. up to five. In comes Katie Geiger and Alyssa Peganoff as well. 18 to 12. Up top to Peganoff. Looking for Liber. Nope. Peganoff's going to drive it. Now she kicks it out to Liber. Back into Kylie Williams. It's up. No good by Kylie. She's got that size. She's got to learn how to finish. Well, Kylie Williams looking strong underneath so far in her minutes that she's uh, played so far here in the second quarter. No doubt about it. Fundamentally sound, too. Yes. Here's Avon with the ball. Turns it over. Eagles have it. Back out to Liber. Oh, it should be an easy two points. But Summer Salem with a phenomenal job there on defense by Salem. Like causing a jump arrow. off. No, like they call it for traveling, Vince. Ooh. I don't know about that call. That's a tough call to make in that situation. Look like it would have been a jump ball. Here comes in GG Redinger into the game. Out comes Carrington. And you see those frequent subs for Westlake. All right, Avon with the ball down 18 nice to 12. Nice pass. Beautiful pass there by Avon, but no good on the shot. Back comes Gina Adams. Adams has it looking up court. Is Adams, let's see what she does here with it. Takes it out, Summer Salem. Vincent, Gina's been trying to get her uh, teammates involved all game. It's about time for her to start taking over. Getting inside, taking over, scoring here. I agree. Summer Salem. Back to Adams. Adams might have hurt you as she tried to drive the lane. Kylie Williams tripped her. Yeah, there's a trip on Williams there. That would have cost them too. Gina was head down right to the basket. All right, we'll reset the clock here. Kylie Williams with her first foul on the trip. 18 to 12, 438 left to go in the second quarter. Westlake leads it going from left to right. White trunks, white tops, green numbers. Out calls Kylie Williams, yeah, Nia, who did Nia, a lot Nia. in her short amount of time. Yeah, Nia Snezik, he's going to give her a little ball, but some good minutes for Williams there when she was in. No doubt about it. Back down underneath to Gina Adams. Good shot there by Gina off the side of the rim. Good rebound there by Stephanie Randar, though. And Westlake will remain possession, Ruben. Yeah, that was a good, uh, actually she got there, but uh, Avon double-teamed her, forced her to throw up a, a shot she didn't want to take, but 
She has to keep doing it. She's got to get involved in this game. Good ball handling skills there by Gina on the nice. crossover. Inside to Witzel, nails it! It is good, and Katie Witzel hits the layup and will go to the line. Great, great pass from Summer. She found her cutting down. She found, she found Witzel cutting down the lane. Led to an uh, easy and one for her. Great passing. That's a second team foul on Liber. They better watch uh, her minutes here, uh, Vince, because she's, the, uh, she's their spark. Checking back into the game will be Abby Carrington. Here comes Carrington who again has an inside presence. Out comes Stephanie Randar. And now the biggest lead we've seen in a while, back up to nine points for Wesley. In fact, Love. their biggest lead of the game. Yeah, and Brooke Love comes back in uh, for Avon. She comes in for Katie Geiger. All right, here we go. Avon has it. Eagles, top of the key. Swinging it up top. That's Brooke Lobb. And they got a bunch of 2-3 uh, zone defense for Westlake again, Vince. Back they got out of that man-to-man. -man. Three ball, Avon. No good off the side of the rim there by Peganoff. And here comes Gina Adams and the Demons looking to extend this lead. Up nine, their biggest lead of the game. Witzel swings it out. GG Redinger to Gina Adams. Swings it over to Summer Salem. Summer Salem down low to Carrington. And it is up. It is good. Oh, He's got it inside. Doesn't matter how many girls they put on her, Vince. Nope. Timeout, Avon. She's been a force the whole game to getting anything she wants Avon. inside. Yeah, Abby Carrington has that anytime she wants it. Full timeout. And that last bit of action as we see Emma Hall getting ready to check back in the game. It is Mullins Construction. It doesn't matter if it's indoor or outdoor. Mullins Construction has everything your home or office will need. They have a new plumbing, hot water tanks, windows, and again, everything your home or office will need. Visit them today, www.cretans.com slash Mullins Construction. And the place both my daughters love and they will be playing in the spring. They can't wait. It's called Soccer Shots. I was not a soccer player. I got a safe bet. Rubano here was not a soccer player. No. But the Bean and the Zook love it. And your kids will love it too. Look them up on Facebook. Soccer Shots. Soccer Shots Cleveland. They do a great job. We'll talk to you a little bit later on about BA Sweetie and Hinkley Roofing. But if you want to be a sponsor, guys, 2020, we are four days in. We already have nine sponsors. We have verbal commitments from many others. What does that tell you? It's the place to be. Contact me, Vince McKee at coachvin14 at yahoo.com or my partner here Ruben Rodriguez at and you can catch me on Twitter at Rube Rodriguez 5 or co contact me at Rod Fam R-O-D-F-A-M at yahoo.com absolutely we'll make sure we get you on here folks Westlake with their biggest lead of the game 23-12 to for the Demons 3.23 to go and as we said Carrington has it inside anytime she wants it back now, from the Eagles inside Good job by de defense there by Carrington. Eagles can't get it going. Still looking for that. And there's a steal by Carrington. Oh, try too many interior passes when you got 12 hands sitting there trying to get the ball out. That's not going to work. And you get the feeling like Abby Carrington can take this game over at any time. And that's a travel on Westlake, but you know what? They might have called a foul first underneath. Let's see this, Ruben. Where are they going, bud? Foul. So they're going to call Peganoff for a foul. Yeah. As it looked it, like there was a travel yeah, they there. It for a push, man. It's a bonus, so they're going to get Gina Adams at the line. And that's uh, Carrington. And that's what happens when you got the team that you have. They're putting all the pressure, all the defensive pressure on Gina Adams. Somebody's got to be open. Well, Adams nails it. 24 Westlake, 12 Avon. They've now doubled them up. And, now, uh, and Avon had their chances. They were a good little run in the yes, second quarter, but yes, couldn't close. Didn't. Adams nails it. I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what. Gina Adams has been working on those foul shots. She's 4-4 four four for the line now. She's, yeah, she's slowed down. Nice pass. Oh. oh. So Avon went with a full court pass there all the way to Abby Liber. But Liber got fouled and will go to the line. Yeah, Carrington's first foul. But Vince, you know, you now you had all these weapons. Now you bring Emma Hall. You know what that brings when she comes out here. That's just it extends instant the court. offense. Yep. It spreads the court. I mean, they're 10 deep this Westlake team. And Anna Williams, we saw some big minutes out of both Anna Williams and uh, Christina Zayab last week against Berea, or two weeks ago against Berea. I mean, they are 10 deep, bud. They really are. And McClellan comes back in. They got all their starters except uh, 
for Brook Lobb. Well, Westlake down, excuse me, Avon down 13. They need to go on a run right now and try to cut into this before halftime. That foul shot's good. Now, Westlake 25, Avon should be 14 once they adjust the board. No, it should be, they had, they had 12, it's 13, that's right. Oh, you're right. Travel! On Whipsell. I didn't see that, I didn't see that was busy on the scoreboard, but. She didn't travel, did bad ball. And they say she moved her front foot, I didn't really catch that. They called it travel on, who was that? On Whitsell. Whitsell? Yep. All right, Emma Hall on the defense there. Well, they got the, they got the, it looks to me like they have a one-on-one, -on -one oh, no, they switched it. They're playing a man-to-man, -man, but Gina taking care of the point guard, but they quickly switched. Beautiful nice. crossover there, no good, but I love the move by Brooke Lobb of Avon. And they're just not getting a friendly rim. Yeah. They've had some good shots, Ruben just haven't gone in. Here's Gigi Runninger. Kicks out, Emma Hall, three ball, no good. Good rebound there by Carrington. Yeah. They're gonna call her over the back. Yeah, they're gonna, that's the second. Yeah, they called that second foul on Abby Carrington. That they're gonna have to protect her and get her out of here. Randar coming in. Yeah. But I mean, I guess when, when the girl's that tall, it's almost always over the back. Even if, I mean, I, I think it's back home. Yeah. All right. She reached over the top. The position underneath was fantastic. So she had to, she had to reach over her Vince to grab the rebound. Back comes the Avon Eagles, down 25 to 13. Two minutes to go and a chance to cut into the lead right now. They need to. Yeah, Westlake back out with Abby Gardner and our Stephanie Randar for some height under there. Nice. Three ball, got it. And that was let's get her name here, Alyssa McClellan, drilling the three. Well, back down to single digits. You mentioned it, Vince. They had to come on some kind of run as soon as you said it. Summer Salem to answer. She got that toe step. Good rebound there by Emma Hall off the Salem miss. But back to the Eagles it goes. Here we go. Inside down low again to McClellan. Oh, oh. It. That's off McClellan and out of bounds, Vince. They broke the press and it was right there. I don't. Right there. You can see McClellan knew she shot. I mean, it, it tipped off of Westlake. McClellan wanted to kind of gator arm yeah, that. And right. just not enough. And she did. It's right the end of her hand. All right. Minute 33 to go. Westlake leads it, 25 to 16. Here comes Gina Adams to Summer Salem. Back out to Randar. Randar underneath. Good. Nice passing, Vince. I think broke the Abby Gardner nails it. They had Abby Gardner three quick passes. They found her underneath for the left-handed put-up. 25-16 for the Eagles. Avon, top of the key. McClellan. McClellan squares up a three-ball. Beautiful shot, but no good. Let's put a little bit too much. A little too much spin. Gina Adams. Uh-oh, Summer Salem has it. Yep. Summer Salem doing a great job with that point guard position. She really she is. Played well tonight, yeah. Looking good. All right, here's Gina Adams. Kicks it off to Emma Hall. One of that toe step three. Here's Gina Adams for three. No good. She's got to start driving the lane. Yeah, she's, she's, that little, I mean, you've heard me mention the name before, but Abby Modelovich was a master at doing that last year. There's still plenty of time left in this game. Now she's, she's gauged everything. She knows that there's a lot of attention on Carrington, so now she'll hit her, she'll hit her spots. Oh, bad pass, Salem needs to speed up a little bit. She should have an easy layup here to Salem, and she does. Summer Salem. Salem. And I'll tell you what, Ruben, she remained under control there. She's under control, waiting to see if hopefully somebody would have came behind her for the and one. She knew she had the layup. Uh, 29 to 16. Up top, swings it. Down low in the post. Avon trying to cut into this 13-point lead. Three ball, no good. Emma Hall having herself a game. Another yeah, rebound. A good green, green rebound. Here goes Gina. She's doing the little things. Gina Adams gets fouled. They don't call it. That is your first half. 29 for Westlake. 16 for Avon. We'll be right back. All right, guys. As we get ready for the second half, I'm going to have Ruben, because I'm starting to lose my voice here, tell you about our last two sponsors. A returning sponsor, B.A. Sweetie. They were gone for a year. They're back. And man, does it feel good. Also, Hinkley Roofing. Ruben, tell us all about both, bud. Hey, hey folks. Uh, we're back. Uh, yeah, B.A. Sweeting, if you have a sweet tooth, B.A. Sweetie Candy Company in Cleveland. It's located on Brook Park Road. Has you covered. They have everything from your childhood candies. I know I uh, like a place where I can get my old Mars bars and my hey. smoothies. Um, Vince probably has his old time uh, candies that you can't find. Bar. Me with the sugar candies. No, you can't find them anywhere else but at PA Sweeties. That, well, they don't miss. I'm, hold on, that's why I'm missing four teeth, but we won't cover that. No, Go I ahead. don't want to talk about teeth right now. 
they don't miss a beat, folks, putting together your magnificent display of candy and ice cream. It's an ice cream paradise there. You can visit them. The address are 6770 on Brook Park Road in Cleveland. BA Sweeties, welcome back. Keon Sports is happy to have you back. Hinkley Roofing, it doesn't matter if it's business or residential, folks. Your top roofer in Ohio is Hinkley Roofing. They are family run and they're built on the principles of hard work, customer loyalty, and getting the job done to perfection each and every time. Perhaps the best of all, they use only the finest quality roofing products such as Corning, Owens Corning, a roofing system. You can visit them today, folks, at www.hinkleyroofing.com or you can call them at 330-722-ROOF. Vince, here we go. Second half about to start. Take us home, bro. Absolutely, and as we begin the second half, it is Westlake 29, uh, Avon 16. We want to thank everybody for listening. We are so excited for 2020. 2019 was a dream come true for both Ruben and myself. Couldn't be happier to be here, right, bud? Yeah, man, this is uh, starting a new year, Vince. Uh, we're already one game in from last night's call. Please, got Mike Rogers uh, did the honors at Rocky River last night. And we've got plenty of uh, basketball. we got hockey. Uh, we've got boxing. We've got uh, all kinds of sports in store for you this year. It's a pleasure. It's gonna. It's a lot of fun, especially here with my partner Vince. Yep. And here we go, folks. Let's finish this second half off. Dream team, baby. All right. And away we go. 29-16. Woo! Let me get my voice back, guys. We got Westlake back with their starting five: Gina Adams, Stephanie Randar, Summer Salem, <clears throat> Abby Garner, and Abby Carrington. Avon starts the ball with the ball to start the second half. Vince, here we go. Let's see how this ends up. And away we go. Avon working from left to right on your radio dial. Black trunks, black tops, purple numbers, yellow trim. Wesley going from right to left on your radio dial. White trunks, white tops, green trim, green numbers. All right, Avon has it down 13. They need to cut in this lead quickly. They do. Beautiful shot there, but it's in and it's out. And I like the look there by Liber. Looks like they're looking for a Liber inside here to start Start off as a good a good interior pass, but she missed the layup. Maybe Liber there. Like the idea, but no good. They got a bunch formation inside. This looks like it's maybe a kick out three. There it is, up top of the key, swings it out. Avon back down to Liber, it kicks it out to Peganoff. Ooh, in and out. And McClellan misses the three that time as well. That's a good idea. But Avon remains possession. Yeah, they had an open three, she just missed it. It was great. a good idea. Back there inside the Liber. Laub has it. No good. I'll tell you, Avon got two or three good looks there, bud. They got a couple of good looks, and this didn't hit the square. Oh, nope. hit the square. The ball usually goes in. No doubt about it. All right, Gina Adams, top of the key to Carrington. No, three ball. They got to keep Carrington down low. Strong, Back to Gina Adams. strong, strong rebound from Gina Adams on the missed three. Had a touch. It's always a deep rebound. She got it. One in there. <clears throat> Biggest lead of the game for Westlake now up by 15, 31-16. Demons taking this one over. Here's Avon the line. Good jump shot there, but in and out. Avon has not gotten a roll all game. They haven't gotten a roll. That ball was halfway in the basket and came back out. They got some great looks. Here's Gina Adams. Coast to coast by Adams. Nice, nice, nice. She went in there strong but in control. Vince just laid a bunny up right off the square. Went right in. Gina Adams going coast to coast, makes it 33-16, 6.40 to go. Avon, good spin move there, no good. And Gina Adams is everywhere you need her to be. And the jump ball situation she go back to over Westlake. to Westlake. Yeah. Gina Adams taking this game over now, 33-16, six and a half to go in the third quarter. And you know what, I mean, like we said, Avon, pretty much all game long has had a lot of good shots, just hasn't gone in. They haven't gone in, Vince. Gene Adams, pass. to Garner, back to Carrington. Carrington should finish this for an easy yeah. two, and she does. Yeah, this is getting away from Avon here because now they got their two top weapons of Carrington and Gina Adams just taking yeah. and doing whatever yeah. they want. Time out by Avon. And that might have been the backbreaker there. Avon now leads it 35-16. to 16. You are listening to KeonSports.com. We start here, 35-16. Westlake leads it. 6.20 to go. Good looks job, like defense. Like, oh, sorry, man. No, go ahead, bud. What's up? Looks, looks like with their, uh, coming to the man-to-man -man defense. Looks like Avon was surprised by that when they started the third quarter. And it's going to lead to several turnovers. That one out of bounds might have been off a demon, and it was. Looks like Westlake has finally uh, gotten rid of that jet leg. 
Or they had a nice talking to, even though they had a 13 point lead, things were a little ragged there in the first half. Oh, no doubt about it. All right, Avon down big, down 19, looking to get it going. Has the ball now, looking to clear it out are the Lady Eagles. Top of the key, rotation in place. Avon has it. Top of the key, still swinging it. Good footwork there by Avon down low, and they get their two points. Really, and Ruben, they were patient. Yeah, very, I was going to say, Vince, a very patient possession there. They passed the ball around the perimeter and got the right shot underneath. And with Grace Santee open under for the layup. Yeah, Alyssa McClellan finished it off for him there. Three ball by Carrington, nails it. That's a backbreaker. When Avon takes 25 seconds to score two points, and then Westlake like ba-boom, ba-bang, just like that. That was your girl, Abby Carrington, would have urged right open three. She nailed it. Does it all. Katie Witzel checking back in the game next for the Demons. Here's Summer Salem. Salem, good ball control there by Salem. Finds Carrington. Gene Adams swinging, but it's going to stay. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, that's no basket. That's going to be a Yikes. third foul on Abby Carrington. She just muscled her way in there. She did. But actually, that was a good play by... Uh, Is it Whitesell and Whitesell? Whitesell. And Katie Whitesell checking back in the game with G.G. Redinger. Yeah, that, that prior possession, Summer Salem did the right move. She saw that she had no numbers, kicked it back out, run a play. But Abby Carrington just got a little bit too physical underneath. So it's a silent E in Whitesell. She goes by Whitesell. Good to know. And when you got a 20-point game, you, you got a little bit of extra time. To, <laughs> if I'm playing well, you can, no matter what you call me. Right? Yeah, that's right. All right, here come the Eagles, down 20. A quick transition to the 2-3 zone again by Westlake here, Vince. Yeah, it really is. Good job by Karen Swanson Hahn keeping them guessing. Summer Salem's everywhere. Here's Avon, good finger roll there, but no good. Gigi Redinger tries to get the rebound. No good. Kylie Williams will now be checking back in for Avon. Good jump shot there. Nails it. And that was uh, Katie Geiger. Katie yeah, Geiger. Well, being patient, Vince, but, you know, that's uh, they're around 18. They're getting what they can here but on the zone defense for man-to-man, -man, but they need a big run. Gene Adams nice swings the top of the key. Turnover. We'll go back to Avon. Up 18 is Westlake. Avon looking to go on a run right here and cut it in. Checking in again here shortly will be Kylie Williams for Avon and Emma Hall for Westlake. Three ball, no good. Rebound, GG Redinger. Yeah, they got a wide open three on it. Uh, and uh, Ashley Torbert couldn't nail it. She was open. And a reaching foul on Avon. Emma Hall about to come back in, Vince. And just add some more, uh, deep some ball more pressure on Avon. She's a deep ball threat, as you mentioned. In goes Kylie. In goes Emma. Out comes Summer. Ashley Torbert. And Summer Salem. 18 point lead here for Westlake, and this is where they'll start to slow it down a little bit, let that clock run, as we saw them do a lot last year as well. All right, here we go. Top of the key, Gina Adams to Register. Back out to Adams, swings it to Hall. To Adams, to Hall. Good quick pass, three ball off the back of the rim, no good. Rebound, Avon Eagles looking for a quick two, and they will get it. And Three missed three pointers, always need the deep rebounds, Vince, and she just had, she got Katie the Geiger. rebounds. Yes, yeah, Geiger already had the uh, one up on everybody. Katie Geiger with all the Eagles points mm -hmm. so far here in the third quarter. Katie Geiger single handedly keeping a minute to an extent as they're down 16. Here's Gina Adams charging that lane like a dervish. Yeah, she just gotta settle it down. Here's Geiger again. And they're going to keep doing that every yeah. time off a missed three ball. That's yeah. obvious. Yeah, Gina got herself a little under control, out of control there. Didn't slow herself on the drive. Time out. And look, let's see what kind of adjustment Westlake makes here, Ruben. Because I'm noticing it. Every time Westlake misses a shot deep or Avon gets the rebound, they're chucking it down court to Geiger. Yeah. Right? Yep. Or Geiger gets her own rebound and just she's ahead of the pack. So there's nothing you can do about stopping somebody ahead of you. Nope. You are listening to KeyOnSports.com. Vince McKee and Ruben Rodriguez. KeyOnSports.com. Email Vince McKee. Any sponsors out there, if you know a coach or a player you want spotlighted on the Spotlight Series, again, give me a call, email me, whatever you got to do. Vince McKee, CoachVin14 at Yahoo.com. Well, so coming back here now, uh, a quick 30-second timeout. 
to go here in the third quarter. 16 point Westlake lead here. Uh, Coach Han Vince, he's noticed something. He called a quick timeout. Uh, looks to me like that there was too much, I don't know, too much uh, uh, inside interior passing. Well, too, that, not only that, but when you're up by 16, you don't need to keep chucking threes right. either. Exactly. Timeout. Wait, what is this? Gina's holding the ball. Well, this is definitely different. Okay, so Adams held it for about 10 seconds. Yeah, it looks like the old uh, North Carolina uh, four-corner play where they just, you know, as long as nobody's covering you, you can hold the ball as long as you want. Yep. Nobody pressed Adams. She held it for a good 10 seconds. I don't blame her. All right, Stephanie Randard down low. Gardner, no good. Work. Through the foul. A patient possession. That's exactly what Coach Hahn was looking for. Pass the ball instead of, like you mentioned, Vince, you're rushing up too many shots here. You don't need three pointers when you're up 16. And now she's on the line. And Demon fans, look out this week. We plan to have head coach Karen Swanson Hahn on the player spotlight series. Here's Gardner. In and out. Checking back in is Garner. Out comes Stephanie Randar. 16 point lead here, Ruben, for Westlake. Trying to stretch that lead out here. The first free throw missed, but they have uh, Emma Hall back at half court just in case it was a missed free throw. Smart. Yeah. All right, Avon down 17 here. 2.19 to go in the third quarter. Looks like Coach Hans called in the dogs, man. They got this full court pressure, Vince. Yep. And it was beaten. Too easy. Kylie Williams has a good pass there by Williams, but dropped by McClellan. Gina Adams, beautiful job there on the defensive side. Gigi Redinger picks it up. And the Hall three ball will pass it up. And Westlake does the smart thing there, Ruben. They settle it down. They settle it down, Vince, instead of rushing into a bad shot. Nice pass. Down low to Garner. Back to Adams. Adams has it. This should be good. No, misses it. She gets her own rebound, lays it right back up there, Vince. 41-22. And Carrington will check back in the game. Good spin move there by Kylie Williams. Tell you, Kylie Williams had to her, made the most of all her minutes here today. She's tough inside, getting really rebounds. Is. Yeah, just a load under there. Kylie Williams has only, only been put into the game twice and both times done great. 41-24. Uh, Emma Hall has it. We see Abby Carrington getting ready to check back in the game. Gene Adams is going to do that slow ball again. Can't say I blame her if they're not going to press her. That's what you got to do. Swings it out to Gigi Redinger. Off the foot of an Avon player. Recovered by the Demons. Demons still have it. It's up. No good. Rebound by Garner. Three ball. Bang. Got it. And the hole. And the hole. There goes that hole again. There's the patience, and that just shows the discipline of this Westlake team. It did exactly what Coach Han wanted. It led to a three-pointer from Emma. Biggest lead of the game. 44 for Westlake. 24 for Avon. Summer Salem will be checking back into the game as well. Three ball by Avon. No good. Rebound by Avon. This looks good, though. It is. Good job there by Grace Santi. Ray Santino in double figures with 10, Vince. That was a, they've got a lot of shots from Avon. They're halfway down and come back out all night. This would have been a much closer game. No so. doubt. All right, Westlake up 18. Emma Hall swings it out. And again, Abby Carrington, Summer Salem looking to check back in. And there's a rumor this might be the game we see our first slam dunk of the season by Carrington. Will she we'll dunk it before this one's over? We will see. All right, 44 to 26. If my math is correct, that's 18 points. Yep, looks to me like uh, Gina might not see the court again for this court, for this half. Might be a good idea. 18 print game, yep. And Torbert, and we might have a sub here. In comes Randar for Gardner. For Gardner. I always cross up Gardner and Witzel. I don't know why I just do. Well, last year they had three Abbeys. Oh, my love it. Gardner yeah. and, uh, and, and Carrington. You had the law firm. The, the, the law firm of Abby, Abby, and Abby. Man. All right, six seconds to go. Last shot will go the way of the Eagles. It's up. Three ball. No good. And that will do it for the third quarter. 44. Westlake 44. Avon 26. Break it down, Bob. We got eight minutes to go. What does Avon need to do to, uh, you know, pull off a miracle here? Uh, they need to get on a big run here, offensively and defensively. Uh, this quarter started. The third quarter started, and 
uh, the alpha male here on this team. Uh, Gina Davis, is, or Gina Davis, no. I'm aging myself. Gina Adams came out here early in the third quarter, Vincent. She, she just forced her way in there, got four to six quick points, and set, and you know stretched the lead, the halftime lead a little bit. Uh, Avon, what they need to do is just stick to their game plan. They had a lot of shots in this game, as you've seen, that come in and out. This game will be a lot closer. Just keep on fighting, keep on doing what you do. Um, at the 18 point lead, you can't get it all back on one shot, obviously. On the defensive end, though, whatever they were doing in that second quarter where they had that little mini run, they should get back to that. And that coach's minute was brought to you by all of our fine sponsors. If you want to be a sponsor, let us take your small company to the next level. Email me, Vince McKee, at coachman14 at yahoo.com. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's close this one out. Let's go, Demons. Ruben Rodriguez, Vince McKee with you here. All right, Avon has it down 18 to start the fourth and final quarter of the day. A reminder, we'll be back on air tomorrow, 3 o'clock, as it's hockey time. North Olmstead travels to Parma. For you hockey fans out there. Three ball, Eagles, no good. Rebound by Carrington. Carrington working on a triple double today. Yeah, that's, this is where I would like to have a little bit of pressure if I'm Avon. You're down 18 points. Big time. Yeah. Carrington to the line, to the lane, no good. Back up, nails it. And while they're at it, they should cover Carrington. She's been getting all she wants into there all day, but Got a doubler. All right, so Avon down 20. And they're not really a three ball shooting team, so. They're really going to have to create you know, turnovers and fast breaks to make this even respectable at this point. Yeah, they call that foul on Summer Salem. She comes out, and Abby Gardner comes back in for Westlake. And I see no uh, Katie Woods, or, um, excuse me, Kylie Williams no longer in the game for Avon. No, she's not. Three ball here, no good by the Eagles. Rebound, Katie Geiger throws it away. Geiger, good job on the rebound, but then look for that outlet. Nobody was there. It's the time of the game, and we've seen it before, Vince. The Westlake Demons... They wear these teams out. 46-26. Westlake has it. Summer Salem on the crossover. Kicks it back out up top. Looking. Top of the key it's to like, Randar. It's like Gardner shuffled her feet there a little. Nobody called anything, though. So it wasn't done if they didn't call it. Nope. Emma Hall spots up three ball. Passes it out. Gardner has it again. With sell now. Summer Salem, top of the key. Westlake taking there out of the ball smartly. Mm. Emma Hall again, top of the key. Back to Salem. I like this uh, rotation here, Ruben. There's a, diff there's a difference here between uh, that she had a shot. Emma Hall had a shot, just didn't take it. Disciplined idea, disciplined call there. Shot up and good by the nope. Demons. Nope. In and out, actually. Katie Whistle, good job there on the look. Avon will have it. We got Christina, Christina Zayab and... Uh, Jump ball here. Adams about to come in here. So Christina Zayab, who we saw step up with some big minutes against Maria Mid Park, will check into today's game with Gina Adams coming back in. 6:25 to go. Emma Hall called on the foul there. It is now 46:26. You are listening to KeyOnSports.com. Visit us today. Shot is up. It is no good. Emma Hall will come out, Gene Adams in, Christine Zayab in, and that is Witzel out of the game. Once again, Vince, another ball that looked like it was halfway down that basket pops right back up. These ladies have no, if it wasn't for bad luck, they'd have no luck today at all. That is sure the truth. I mean, every time. Shot up no good, but a good rebound there. Avon has it. Down 20. Swings it out. Three ball, that looks good. In and out again, though. Yeah, all right. Wesley will take it now. Just uncanny how many of these balls are just going halfway in and coming out, Vince. Yep. Six minutes to go. Westlake up 46-26. They're moving from right to left on the radio dial. Nice pass. Randar out. Top of the key. Swings it. Zayab. Gina Adams. Adams will drive. Back out to Zayab. Good nice job kick. there. Penetration was nothing there. Kicked it back out. That was smart. Wow. It's a very patient, another patient possession. Gardner gave, laying there. Yep, they gave their uh, ball handlers the ball. And Gina Adams, Summer, Summer Salem, they got the right shot underneath. Gardner gets fouled to the line, Vince. 
And they wasted time. Abby Gardner to the line. Westlake leads it 46-26 here. First shot is up. It is good. I'll tell you what, they've gotten every bounce. It's a home court rim, man. Not for sure. Avon's balls are hit, going halfway down and coming up, and this one had no business going. I know, <laughs> and it right? Did. And it did. It's that home court advantage today. 47-26. That's up and no good, though. The rebound there by Geiger. Katie Geiger's yeah. impressed me today, and so has Abby Liber. Yeah, Abby Liber's been, they played a very good game offensively and defensively tonight mm -hmm. for Avon. Big time. No, another turnover there, though. We'll go back to the Demons and Gina Adams. Five and a half minutes to go. 47-26. Westlake has it. Zayab out to Gina Adams. Adams will drive in, kick the summer Salem. Salem looking, swings it back out to Gene Adams again. Abby, Top of the key. Abby Carrington's about to check back in. She wants that dunk. Uh, oh, down low, bit of a loose ball scramble there. Let me just see if they call the foul on here. Could have went either way. They're going to call it on Alyssa Peganoff. Subbing in now, as we see, is Carrington. Out comes Randar. 5'11 to go. And they're not in the bonus yet, so they have to inbound underneath the basket. 21 point lead. Demons lead it. Good job there by Witzel. Recovers it, swings it. Summer Salem wide open for three. Nope. Off the side of the rim, no good by Salem. And there's Alyssa McClellan on the rebound. She's played well today, too, Ben. Yeah, she has. Checking back in here shortly will be Brooke Lobb, the freshman for Avon. Here's McClellan down low. McClellan takes it back out. Swings it. Three ball. Oh. No good again. Good look, though, for, uh, for Avon. Back low again. Here nice. is Liber. She nails it. Nice patient rebound there on the three. And then the missed three ball. So Liber with an easy layup. It's, it's uncanny. Great form on all these shots by these Avon ladies. The ball's just not falling for them today, unfortunately. Yep. Summer Salem. Looking to kick it to Salem. She gets fouled. They don't call it. Gene Adams, no good again. Good rebound there by Carrington. Abby Carrington dominating. Have you heard of the at the right place at the right time, Vince? All evening like that for Carrington. Miss again on the fast break by Avon. 21 point lead. And Avon has really struggled to miss those you know, little layups. This won't go in. Abby Carrington looking like one of the best players in the state right now. She could hit the three ball, she could drive, she could rebound, she does it all. Does everything you this, ask of her, and she runs this team. This team's stacked. This team is absolutely stacked. Here's Witzel, swings it out to Adams. Adams holds it. Good pump fake there by Adams. No good. But she'll the line for two. And she muscled herself. Once she gets that, once she dips that shoulder and gets that position, you're gonna have to double her underneath. It's layup after layup after layup with her. Okay, she I just, oh. Yeah, I mean she, she does it all. Yeah, she just went up strong and forced her way to the line. You're listening to KeyOnSports.com. That's KeyOnSports.com. That you mentioned earlier. Up comes Katie Geiger and Liber. So that'll probably be it for Geiger and Liber. Yeah, that'll probably be done. In checking in again, I believe that is uh, Red Reader. It is. She's in for Carrington. But you mentioned earlier in the broadcast, Vince, that uh, something different about the way Gina Adams shoots these free throws as to last year. Yeah. Smooth stroke, follow through. She hasn't missed one yet. She's six out of six from the line. Three and a half to go. Avon down big, 51-28 with the ball. Top of the keys, swinging it out. Back down low goes Avon. Off the foot, no good. Good turn over there. Hey, Westlake staying strong with that zone defense. Doesn't matter how big or small their lead is. They played to the last whistle. Absolutely, got to keep playing. All right, 51 28, 315 to go. And, you know, these are situations of games where you can work on stuff, too. Yeah. Gene Adams has plenty of time to cross the line, and she does. And they're going to let this clock run now. Three minutes to go. Finally, you see a press by Avon. Much too little, too late there, Rude. Yeah, I would have started this at the beginning of the fourth quarter. The the third quarter. Look at it. Gene Adams scrambles for the loose ball and has it. And yeah, you're right, man. And what, what took so long? Yeah. Yeah. Checking back in will be Emma Hall, and we'll get our first look at Anna Williams today as well. So Williams and Hall to check back in. Kierenson has it, and maybe we'll see that first slam dunk from Emma Hall. Only a matter of time. All right, Gene Adams has it, top uh, of the key. Emma saves her dunks for Florida. Uh, we will see. 
Up, oh, checking back in. Our first look at Taylor Gregory as well. All right, here's Gina Adams. Adams to the line, to the lane. Good. Nothing better, to, uh, Vincent, to kill the clock a little bit and then end up with a layup. 53 to 28. Shot is up. It is no good. Rebound, Abby Carrington. Back out to Adams. 2-12 to go. It is Westlake 53. I think it's a timeout here to get these girls in the game. It yep. is. And we will take a timeout with them. Vince McKee alongside Ruben Rodriguez. You are listening to Keon Sports in a very uh, buzzer there. All right, 53 28. Anna Williams in the game. Christine Zayab. Definitely the smaller looking lineup here. Anna Williams. Out of bounds. That ball went out of bounds, Vince. Putting some people in here we don't normally see out here. Uh, Anna Williams, Taylor Gregory. Christine Zayab. Christine Zayab. Emma Hall's out there that she's uh, has the most experience here of anybody. Yep. Definitely the tiny lineup. Yeah. Here comes Avon. No good on the hook. The important thing is, Vince, that they get some game experience here. Yep. Absolutely. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Ah, uh, minute 38 to go. Up by 50, excuse me, 25 now. Yeah, looks like uh, Avon's got some reinforcements in here too. Good job there get these by girls. Zayab. Got to get these girls some playing time. Yeah, no doubt. Takes it out, Emma Hall. Up by 25, 90 seconds to go. Here's Redinger. Definitely the tiny lineup. <laughs> yeah, this is, uh, I think the tallest player is about my height. Yep, Emma Hall. Paul oh, has to pass up that three. Good unselfish act there. Back up top. Zaya might have got away with a carry there. Back to the Hall behind the back on the Hall. Keeping it clean. Here's Anna Williams. Bang. Got it. Beautiful shot there by Anna. Nothing but nylon there, Vince. I mean, she just had that open three-pointer. And I stand corrected. That was actually Taylor Gregory on that shot. Good job there by Taylor. Jump shot there. No good by Yvonne. Top of the key. Runs her rebounds. 40 seconds to go, and I wonder if we've seen our last shot of the game, bud. Um, the Taylor, Taylor Gregory's parents, freshman, hops her first three-pointer probably. I'm not, I can't confirm that, but that was a sweet stroke, man. And we will do our best here post-game to see if we get a word with either assistant coach Tom Withers or head coach Karen Swanson-Hall. Sit tight with you there. But it looks like with no shot, our final score today will be 55-28. to 28. Westlake improves, and Avon still a lot to be learned today, though, because they took a lot of good shots, just didn't go in. Yeah, it was an impressive performance in the second half by Westlake. Looked like they got their legs back, Vince, like you said. They just took over. That will do it for now. Sit tight. Your final score, 55 to 28. We'll see who we get to work from. And it is 55-28, your final score. We're here with the winning coach, Karen Swanson Han. How do you think they did their first game back from Florida? That first half kind of rusty, but then really got, you know, on fire. A little rusty, but I'll tell you, we really um, focused pregame on uh, talking about effort. And I really felt like the effort was there. And I'm uh, thrilled how they came out effort-wise. So even though we were a little rusty on some things with the shot or the execution of offenses and defenses, I'm just really pleased with, that they played as hard as they did. I was really happy with the uh, effort on the boards, in particular, in the first half. Now, your, your team to me, you know, I've been watching them two years now. You sub in and out like crazy. You guys really are 10 deep. How much does that help with your style and tempo of play? Well, it helps us a lot with our press, and we tell our girls all the time, you know, we want you to go hard. It might be in two-minute spurts, three-minute spurts, but whenever you're in there, we want you going 100%, and we have the depth to back that up, so... So they, they're able to do that, really. I mean, it helps us a lot run the press the way we like to and want to. One last question for you, because I know you want to go talk to your team. What can you say about Abby Carrington? She was unstoppable today, and I'm just really pleased with how, um, you know, she came back from Florida, and she was, she was very determined with the ball today. And even more than that, I thought she played fantastic on defense and uh, rebounding the ball. You know, we stress doing all the things. So she scored great, yeah, but she does so much for us. I'm, I'm thrilled with the game she played today. Sounds good. And fans, we will be talking with Karen Swanson Hahn this week on the Spotlight Series. Thank, Thank you. you very much, guys. Absolutely. All right, Raymond, any last thoughts, bud? Yeah, this is uh, what we kind of expected from uh, the Westlake. Uh, they started a little bit slow. Uh, obviously, the, the trip to Florida might have still been uh, in their presence, but as you mentioned, man, something happened at halftime. They came out, and there they were. 
No I mean, doubt about it. But I mean, uh, prop, deep. yeah, props to Avon too, guys. Um, yeah, they played well, man. They had some. They got some stars on that team. Abby Liber, she knows what she's doing under there. McClellan with the three pointers, but man, I, it, just a missed opportunity, the missed shots that were going in. This could have been a heck of a lot different game. That those those shots would have gone in, but it, it happens. It's basketball. No doubt about it. You know, and one thing you kind of want to look at on this one here uh, is Kylie Williams. You know, Avon today started five guards. And they held up for a while there, but eventually you're going to need some size down low, some aggressiveness. That's what Kylie Williams brings. Maybe we'll see that from Avon later on in the season. Yeah, yeah, for, they, yeah. yeah but one more thing is they did make a run there towards the end of the second quarter. You kept looking over at me and said, man, they can get this thing done. But, yep. you know, the, the cream rises to the top, man. Uh, Avon's going to be around. They're a young team. So look forward to them guys. Abby Leibert's what in her... She's a sophomore. Right. So, so, a lot of potential there. Christine Lobb's a freshman. Yep. So, we'll see you soon, folks. We will see you soon. For Ruben Rodriguez, this has been Vince McKee. You've been listening to KeonSports.com. We'll see you tomorrow in Parma for hockey.